Hello and welcome back to my studio. I'm still having power issues at the moment, uh, but hopefully back on track very soon. So here's another quick studio vlog showing you another of my current projects, similar to the one that I shared with you um, last week. This is another coastal project looking at the landscapes near me, um, a little bit further east near Seaford at Cookmere Haven, one of my favourite places to paint and somewhere that you've probably seen me do demos of quite a lot in the past. The reason for this is that most of my personal work is focused around the landscapes, um, the coastal landscapes very near me. The Shoreham Harbour project that I showed you last week is looking at various scenes that I'm trying to depict and working through them from photos to ideas to sketch and then to paintings. However, this project, the Cookmere Haven project, is slightly different. I'm still exploring through sketching um, from photographs, visits, ideas, that sort of thing. But instead of trying to produce sort of representational um, paintings from that, I'm looking to abstract and produce abstract landscapes. I still want the elements to be recognisable, but I want to completely try and sort of simplify the scenes and bring a sort of real loose freshness to them. So the two projects, the Cookmere Haven and the Shoreham Harbour projects are compatible. I can kind of run them um, at the same time. So I've taken a break from the Cookmere Haven project while I'm working on the Shoreham Harbour. And then when I'm sort of at a point where I just need to stop and think for a while, I'll come back here to the Cookmere Haven project. These are some of the photographs that I'm working from at the moment. Of course, I've got a lot more photographs and studies, but I'll just be showing you some of the ones, the main ones that have been um, sort of quite inspirational to me. So in looking to kind of abstract from reality, I'm not looking for completely abstract shapes and designs. I'm still looking for a recognisable landscape. Um, so the way that I work with this is by um, doing lots and lots of realistic sketches and studies of the scene, trying out different ideas for compositions, for atmospheres, sort of for point of view, so that I can maybe stretch the perspective out or make the perspective a little bit extra forced for extra sort of dynamism in the composition. I can use pencil and fine liners, markers, paint, any kind of mark making tools and materials that I want to, just to explore the theme and the compositions and the ideas and to really cement the ideas in my mind um, as they are in a sort of realistic way before I then begin to abstract from that reality to produce my loose landscapes. And these two drawings and paintings are old ones from a while ago that I've um, found again and put into this sketchbook because I think they're quite relevant. Uh, they're fairly realistic representations, although loose, and it's sort of something that I can have in the sketchbook as something to inspire me. And now on to my sort of beginning to work on abstractions. Here I'm trying out little thumbnail sketches, attempting to work out different compositions, different angles of perspective, keeping this perspective right, um, like this kind of rough sort of abstracted sketch of one of the photographs, Just playing with ideas and trying to sort of see how it might look if it was simplified. Um, and then feeling that I needed to do a really detailed drawing of this, I tried again here just to sort of work out the lines of perspective and the angles that I wanted, the positions of everything on the page. Um, I think you can see it's sort of fairly realistic, but still quite loose, very sketchy. And um, this was a composition that I really liked and decided that I was going to use and play around with and try to abstract. So I played around with paint and this is one of the sketches that I ended up with that's pretty close to where I wanted to be with it actually. 
I quite like this, although I'm not keen on the figures right in the middle of the composition. That just worked out that way. But I'm pleased with the abstraction here. I very much like the simplification and the sort of mark making that I've used to create the sea wall. Now this is another one. This is even closer to where I wanted to be. I'd call this pretty much a finished colour sketch. It's close to a painting and it's how I would like to be able to try and create a finished painting with this sort of looseness and freshness, but on a slightly larger scale. So this is as far as I've got with this landscape format idea. Um, the next stage would be to take this one and um, and um, sort of translate it into a full-size painting. And here is the portrait uh, format sketch of the same scene, just trying it out because I like both ideas and I'm not sure which one I prefer. I think I probably like both of them, so I'll end up with two finished paintings of this subject. And here's the watercolour sketch, which I'm very pleased with. Again, I think I've sort of done enough work with all the sketching that I did and background work that these um, finished colour studies are working out really nicely. Again, this is one that I need to work on a little bit more and then just translate the ideas into a larger full-size painting. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look into my process. Of course, there's no wrong or right way of doing this. This is just my way, the way I've decided to explore this theme. As I say, it's similar but different to my Shoreham Harbour project, but yet both are compatible. At the moment, I'm just working on the Shoreham Harbour project uh, because that's where my ideas are freshest, while this one sits on the back boiler because I know what I want to do next. I want to work on some finished paintings for the project in all these different compositions. So I'm just waiting for a while and working on the Shoreham Harbour project to give myself a break. And when I get to a point with the Shoreham Harbour project that I need a break from that, I'll go back to the Cookmere Haven project. And that way, um, I'm not rushing things too much. I'm having time to think about things, but I'm also allowing myself plenty of time to experiment and play around with ideas and enjoying the process and the exploration and the journey and not worrying about the ending point. I'm not desperate to produce finished paintings. Um, these will happen as a part of the process, I'm sure, but at the moment it's the exploration and the creative journey which is the most important thing here and for me this is the most important thing about creating about being an artist so i hope you enjoyed a little bit more of an insight into the way that i work in my studio on my own work i'll see you again soon take care and happy painting bye